Welcome to Donmar TV News Channel. Okay. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in the Philippines. At uh, may video akong ipapakita sa inyo. Ito ay tungkol kay Presidente Bongbong Marcos na kinausap niya itong mga, uh, mga media. Na alam naman natin na ang mga media ngayon at noon pa yan na biktima rin itong si Presidente Bongbong Marcos sa mga fake news sa media. So ngayon, Uh, kinausap ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos ang uh, ano ang kahalagahan ng uh, media sa ating bansa. Yan, panoorin natin yan, ipapakita ko sa inyo yan at medyo matindi ang uh, sinabi ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos tungkol din yan sa mga maling impormasyon na ibinigay ng mga media. Okay? At ipapas uh, 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 ipapasirado na yung mga media na mga medyo bias dyan. Okay, so uh, bagong lahat, help me na i-like at i-share tong video natin sa Facebook at sa YouTube para kakalat ito sa taong bayan. And also guys, subscribe, follow Don Mar TV para lagi kayong updated sa mga balita na kagaya nito. Okay, so ipapakita ko itong video na nag-speech itong si Presidente Bongbong Marcos sa mga media, no? Uh, kung ano ang, ang importance kung nagtatrabaho ka sa media kung ano yung mga impormasyon na dapat yung ilahad sa taong bayan at may bilang isang uh, media no raw sabi ni presidente Bumong Marcos ay uh, nagbigay ka ng mga mahalagang impormasyon na hindi mo ilinlang yung ating taong bayan so i-play natin itong video at magre-react tayo The Presidential Communications Office Secretary Chair Loiger, please take your seat. Uh, Trade and Industry Secretary, uh, Secretary Fred Pascual, Passing City uh, Loan District Representative Roman Romulo, the members of the Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas led by Chairman Herman Baspiano, the KBP President Ruperto Nicknow Jr., and fellow workers in government. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am, uh, it is a great pleasure for me to join the Kapisanan ng Broadcaster ng Pilipinas on this very, very important day, the celebration of your 50th anniversary. It has uh, been a long uh, road, but nonetheless, the night's event goes beyond the mere celebration of the KBP's half century of existence, and it is, an all, it is also a fitting celebration of responsible broadcasting and press freedom on this, on this side of the world, coinciding with the, with the centennial broadcasting in the Philippines. This milestone only attests to the fact that the KPP has fully established itself as an institution of national significance. Through the years, your brand of public service has been in its advocacy of promoting independence and freedom of broadcast media, responsibility and enhanced public service in broadcasting, and the advancement of innovation and development of Philippine broadcasting. The past half century have seen changes, not only of administrations, but of significant shifts in the political terrain, very important historical events as well as advancements in technologies that have paved the way for the unprecedented development of the fourth estate particularly the broadcasting industry. Within the last five decades, we have seen the rise and later on the takeover of the internet, computers, smartphones, tools that we now depend on and cannot live without. From these tools, then came the birth of new media for gathering and sharing information to those who have access to these platforms. The KBP, through all that, has weathered these events and changes and has maintained its social relevance, acting as a uniting and balancing force of broadcast organizations. Throughout the years, the KBP has remained a visible, active, and fair advocate of both rights and obligations of its members and of all industry players. You have advocated for freedom, independence, capacity building within the industry. It has also advocated for professionalism, social responsibility in the industry, by promoting fair and ethical practices and enhanced public service. This has been done through independent self-regulation and public service announcements. On this note, 
It is fitting that we recognize the KPP and its indispensable role in the healthy development of the broadcast media industry in the Philippines and of the freedom of the press in general. Moreover, we recognize the significant contribution in the shaping of public opinion and the development of a highly well-informed citizenry. Taken together, these contributions attest to KPP's integral involvement in developing a robust democracy and economy for the country. KBP's role remains crucial now as it has ever been as we continue to confront newer and pressing challenges to our society amid all the challenges and advancements and the passage of 50 years since the establishment of the KBP. One is the challenge of ensuring the integrity and credibility of information. Well, we, have, we started with uh, mistaken information, then it became more active, disinformation and misinformation, and now, out and out, fake news. So remember that, huh? misinformation, disinformation, at yung mga fake news. These are among the negative effects of technological advancement and the social media age. However, it is something that is to be expected considering how powerful the tool social media has become. And like any powerful tool, it cuts both ways. And it is up once again to the KBP to uh, bring a measure of stability, a measure of uh, objectivity to uh, help our people discern what is the real information and what is propaganda. In these noble causes, the fourth estate, led, of course, by the broadcast media, stands as a stalwart partner of our conscientious and peace-loving citizenry also of our legitimate and equally conscientious government, animated by the raison d'etre of truthful and accurate reporting of events and um. issues of public interest and importance. The press and broadcast media are instrumental not only in informing the citizen, but also in shaping public opinion and even triggering social mobilization and change. Therefore, I exhort the KBP to continue your very important work with our people and with the government, addressing and remedying the issues and challenges that we face. Take the lead and foster public discussion, truth and credibility, the rule of law, especially in the practice of broadcasting, news reporting, and information dissemination. Okay. So, sa madaling salita, no? uh, it's a good thing na itong si Presidente Bongbong Marcos ay kinausap itong mga media. At the same time, uh, na-appreciate ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos yung mga uh, technology natin ngayon, yung mga cellphone, na grabe na, madali na yung uh, information makaskade through those all social medias. But there's a disadvantage on this na kung merong mang mga fake news na mangyari, merong mga misinformation, disinformation, madali rin makaskade. So, it is the... Uh, Itong anibersaryo ng KBP, eh, pinaalala ni Presidente Bongbong Marcos na uh, be alarmed about this uh, mga media na medyo bias. Na alam naman natin itong pamilyang Marcos, eh, biktima rin ito sa mga bias noon. Marami. Di ba? So, ito para sa akin at para sa lahat ng mga ta sa taong bayon, ito, ito ay banta sa lahat. na yung nagbigay ng mga especially ito sa mainstream media no marami ito during the election na maraming mga bias media okay klaro maklaro eh, eh ma, mapansin sa taong bayan yung mga bias na mga ginagawa nyo so binantaan kayo na kapag patuloy kayong ganyan eh tatanggalin kayo okay the government is um, has the right na uh, tanggalan kayo ng lisensya, tanggalan kayo ng prangkisa kung ang iyong responsibilidad na makapagbigay ng totoong balita eh uh, kung mali-mali ang mga ginagawa nyo, eh tanggalin na lang kayo. Remember what happened to ABS-CBN. Okay? So ayaw natin na sumunod yung ibang mga media dyan. Kayo yung matanggalan ng lisensya at uh, prangkisa. Okay? So watch out kayo. Na yung mga bigay ng mga fake news, mga misinformation, disinformation, pwede kayong tanggalin ng gobyerno. Okay? 
kasi nililin lang niyo yung taong bayan eh. Sabi pa nga ni Mike Abe nung uh, broadcaster at at same time vlogger na marami ngayon sa mga vloggers at sa mga mainstream media eh laging nagbibigay ng mga fake news, faking balita, nililin lang yung mga taong bayan. So, this will serve as a lesson sa lahat ng mga mainstream media, mga vloggers na pwede kayong tanggalin anytime. Basta magbigay kayo ng mga misinformation, disinformation at mga fake news na balita o impormasyon sa social media, sa TV man at sa radyo. Okay? So kayo mga audience ko dito, libre kayong mag-comment, mag-react sa uh, speech dito kay Presidente Bongbong Marcos sa anibersaryo ng KBP, I think, no? At uh, pag-usapan natin yan sa comment section. Meron pa ba mga bias media ngayon? No? Yan ang tanong. Uh, sino pa ba yung mga media na medyo may kinakampihan na mga politiko? Comment, react, at babasahin natin yan sa comment section. Pag-usapan natin yan lahat. Okay? So guys, like and share this video para kakalat ito sa taong bayan. At uh, follow, subscribe Don Mar TV para lagi kayong updated sa mga balita na kagaya nito. And uh, I will be updating you this. Uh, see you in my next video. Have a great day and happy Sunday. God bless inyong lahat.